He's a feisty one, isn't he? Hello, people, and welcome to the madness that is Mac in VR. Windlands 2 has finally been released for the standalone Meta Quest 2 and Quest Pro headsets. And I'll not beat about the bush here, this game is a joy to play, but it can be tinged with frustration too. So let's get straight into the review, and remember, we're born to respawn. Firstly, I was given early access to Windlands 2 by the developers SciTech, but I am not sponsored by them and I'm free to review this game as I see it. Now, that's out of the way, you return to the world of Windlands with your grappling hooks and trusty bow. Your task is to rid the land of the robot titans and defeat an ancient evil, but this time you can bring up to three friends with you for cooperative swinging and arrow slinging. The game has been available for PC VR for four years now and has garnered very positive reviews on Steam. The port to standalone is complete and has lost none of the game's vibrant colours, cute graphics or addictive swing mechanic. And this is what you will spend most of your time doing in Windlands. Swinging from grapple point to grapple point, sometimes hundreds of feet in the air, feeling the wind rushing past as you fly around. The beautiful scenery a blur. This is Windlands at its best. Grappling, swinging, flying towards the next point for that last minute clutch grapple, then swinging away, exhilarated, or plunging to your doom, which you will do a lot. But death is a brief interruption as you will quickly spawn at the last checkpoint and be on your way again, most of the time, but I will talk about that later. The graphics are clean, simple, and suit the tone of the game. Your character and the NPCs you interact with are over the top, Japanese style cartoon characters, brightly coloured with exaggerated features. The bosses you fight are frankly colossal and terrifying. From spider robots to gigantic mechanical snakes and the towering titans, their scale is very well portrayed, but you are not unarmed and come with a sturdy bow which you can use to dispatch your enemies. One of the highlights of this game is getting a momentous swing, flying high above one of the enemies and loosing several arrows to smash into their weak points. Pulling this off is one of the most satisfying moments I've had in VR. The audio is ethereal with a lilting soundtrack that suits the game brilliantly and blends into the background as you grapple and swoop around the three gigantic lands of the game. Bosses screech and grind as they fire lasers and homing missiles at you or just try to crush you in their giant moors. The gameplay loop is to interact with the NPCs who will invariably give you a mission go here, collect this or go there and defeat this boss. It is not one of Winland 2's strongest points but it is done with verve and humour. Whereas the original game was single player only, Windlands 2 is built for cooperative play, and this is where the game really shines. Swinging through the enormous landscape with your mates either side of you, watching them fall to their death as they miss a grapple point, or just racing to get to the next checkpoint first. It is sublime, but it does cause a problem. Boss fights are prolonged with numerous stages to each fight, obviously designed for a team effort. It can make these fights laborious, if you're playing by yourself. As you progress through the game's narrative, another issue pops up as well. In the first few hours, the grapple points are dense and numerous. Missing a grapple point is not a big problem, as you will probably be within easy reach. However, as you delve further into the windlands, the grapple points become less numerous, usually with a specific path and with some proper leaps of faith, where you will swing into the ether, hoping you can reach the next distant grapple point. This can lead to frustration as you repeatedly plummet to your death from what feels like millimetres away from the next grapple point. In fact, one such issue has actually stopped my progress currently. I have to face off against a boss inside a cavern. Despite many attempts, many, many attempts, I haven't even been able to initiate the fight as I keep falling to my death. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but at this moment I'm stuck and can't progress, which is hugely frustrating. So please, bear that in mind if you are playing the game solo. This problem is mostly negated when playing with friends as they can tackle the gargantuan boss while I repeatedly fall to my death as I'm an uncoordinated clown. Never mind. <laughs> Before I get to my conclusion, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes. You can also subscribe and join my channel for exclusive badges, emojis, and game key giveaways. Thanks. Despite the issues, I really love my time in Windlands 2. There is honestly nothing else like it in VR. Swinging through the landscape, hitting that clutch grapple, and soaring tens of meters above gargantuan bosses while loosing off arrows is sublime and exhilarating. If you're playing by yourself, please note the points I have brought up, but grabbing three friends plunging into the Windlands is one of the best cooperative experiences you will have this year. So, 
Thanks to the gang at SciTech. I had a blast. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you as I plummet to my death.